There's no man tested that water will come to his mouth. Have you seen anybody test? He said, in the name of Jesus, water. Huh? You look for water. True? So also, you know that you want knowledge. You look for it. It takes a task to locate the right word for winning. In Isaiah chapter 55 verse 1, look at the Bible, look at this. Oh, let's read it together. Everyone, <laughs> everyone, everyone, individualistic, everyone that tested, come. The word come is take a step. I can't tell you to come and you stand in one place. If I say come, what do you do? You must move. God is saying, do you really want knowledge? You want this to change? Then take a step. Now listen, look at what it says here. Everyone, not every, it's not collective. Everyone, individualistic. Everyone that tested, come ye to the waters. The waters means the word. Ephesians 5, verse 26. Waters means what? That way, waters means the word. Ephesians 5, 26, look at it. That he must sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. When you see that water, it's talking about the word. Put it back in Isaiah 55, verse 1. Oh, everyone that tested, come here to the word? The word. And he that had no money, so you don't use money to get it. It's not that you pay. I say, no, now I pay for it. Heal it, jump inside me. Prosperity, jump inside me. He said, no way. He said, and he that had no money, come ye, buy. It's a paradox. And eat, ye, come buy wine and make without what? He said, buy without money. He's telling you that, hey, there's a price to pay, but it's not money. But without price. Let me explain this to you. <laughs> as close as husband and wife, very close. I know these young people, they are husband and wife. They are always on salvation TV for their total testimony. Now, their husband and wife, their husband and they love themselves, true? You love your wife. Okay. Can, I just want to use that as an illustration. The whole world is watching you. Can you say, sweetheart, I so love you, but don't go to the confidence. I'll do it on your behalf. Is it possible? He uh, says, sweetheart, I so love you. You are so nice. You are pressed? Hold on. I'm going. No way. You can't do it for another person? Huh? Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm hungry, sweetheart. So hungry. But you don't eat. I'll eat on your behalf. Is it possible? Huh? Can you borrow another man's brain to write his arm? Huh? Can you use another man's headlamp to drive your car? So life is an adventure of personal responsibility. So do you want life to be sweet? Then... Nobody can do it for you. Hey, hey, let me say this to you. They can pray for you to be healed. They cannot pray for you to enjoy health. <laughs> you can be sick. A man of God can pray for you to be well. But to live in health, you have to have knowledge. If they can minister to you come out of poverty, they cannot pray for you to prosper in life. You must have knowledge. They can pray for peace in your marriage. They cannot pray for you to enjoy your marriage. You have to have knowledge. They can pray for you for wisdom to understand. They can pray for you to continually operate in wisdom. They can pray for you to be delivered, but they cannot pray for you to stay delivered. You have to have knowledge. So here. No shortcut. No what? You know, Christianity now, what we want is usbozbo. And because we belong to a society where people deceive you. Come here. We do seven days. Deliverance for you, no problem. It's a lie. After the seven days, Satan will come back. You have to acquire knowledge. So you task for knowledge. You task. You, you desire to grow. You desire to what? To grow. You tell yourself, I have to grow. I have to hunger for the word of God. So here. 
Stop seeking for miracles by jumping from church to church. Sit down where you'll be fed with the word of God. You get what I'm talking about here? And I know from today you will grow in the name of Jesus. In John chapter 6, 24 to 29. John 6, 24 to 29. He said, when the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, and neither his disciples, they came also taking shipping and came to Campanium seeking for Jesus. You read verse 25. Jesus answered them and said, Very, very, I say unto you, Yes, seek me not because he saw the miracles, but because you did eat of the loaves which were filled. Read verse 27. Then said they to him, What shall we do that we might walk the works of God? Verse 29, finally. But look at verse 27. That's the key verse. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which was endured unto everlasting life, which some man shall give unto you for him, had God the Father said. He said, Labor for spiritual bread, which is the word of God. Stop running around for miracles. Sit down where you'll be taught the word. So I hear. Every outstanding discovery in his word is as a result of labor. Now you hear this, and you hear me well. Personal labor for personal discovery. Personal labor for personal winning. Personal labor for personal development. Now listen carefully and hear me this truth and hear this truth very well. You don't win by wishing. You don't win by what? You don't wish to win. One day in Luke chapter 10, 38 to 42, Mary and Martha were in the house and Jesus was busy teaching. Jesus was busy what? Teaching. He said, now it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village and a certain woman named what? Martha received him into a house. You read verse 39. Want to go? But Martha was cumbered about many servants and came to him and said, Lord, does that not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she help me. Read verse 41. You are careful about many matters. One, there's a way together finally. One thing is needful. And Mary had chosen that good path. We shall not be taken. Which is the one thing? The word. Thank God you are busy. Make go zoom, 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 zoom in church. Hey, hey, hey. Sit down with the word. Sit down with the word. Don't come for activity. Activity without the word will never produce productivity. Many of us are busy. You know, I'm the chief usher. I'm the chief uh, national executive officer of our church. Those are activities. They are matter. Sit down with the word. Any church where they will not teach you the word, don't stay. He said, I'll give you pastors after my heart. We shall feed you with knowledge. Jeremiah 3 verse 15. Any church where they only pray for you, don't stay. You won't grow. Pray for me, pray for me, pray. You won't grow. It will kill you as a Christian. Go to a church where the pastor will feed you with knowledge. It's I'll give you pastors. The Matthew 350, look at it. I'll give you pastors, according to my heart, we shall feed you with knowledge. I will not give you pastors who will be praying for you. So here, our duty is to feed you with knowledge. Activity cannot take the place of the world. Oh, thank you for your service. Oh, but it will never, if you like It will not take the place of the word. Preaching can't take the place of the word. As I preach, I read. Now listen, to tell you how powerful it is. This morning I got up to read some chapters, not for preaching. Because the bread you sell cannot nourish you until you eat it. That's why you see some pastors get very sick. You say, why is this pastor sick? He's a healing minister, he's sick. Because the bread is selling. It's different from the bread that we eat. Me, I eat Bible 
for myself to keep me going. Then the one I'm doing now is I'm selling bread. That I'm selling bread does not mean it will nourish my body. So me, this when I woke up to read the Bible, not for preaching, you know, for myself. My friend, Jesus read the Bible, oh, then you, you will not read. He said, Pastor, pray for me. I know you are a noted man of God. Just be praying. Thank you. Thank you. My friend, any woman scared of labor room will not give birth. So if you don't labor in this world, you will not birth miracles. Lasting miracles is a function of the word of God. Failure in most cases is as a result of failure in the world. The quality of your life is determined by the quality of what you possess.